Wow, uh, I am uh, sh shocked. I, I, <laughs> I, it's, I'll tell a story. Last night, Tyron and I were, uh, congrats, I want to congratulate Tyron Harrison from the school. He won the Fayette County District uh, Outstanding Youth Contest last night, so he'll compete at the state contest tomorrow. But, uh, and I think along in the spirit of this award, Tyron has kind of expressed an interest in pursuing agriculture education. Uh, I chose to be an ag teacher because of the impact that my teachers had on me. And Tyron and I were talking in the van last night on the way to Anderson County. Uh, and I said, the thing about being a teacher is that you have to shift that mindset of being intrinsically motivated and learn and, and live through your students. I think I said, you're not gonna get an attaboy and a round of applause at the end of every lesson. And then this happens, and uh, I am absolutely shocked. Um, when I came to this program five years ago, I was, had the opportunity to speak at Royal Time, uh, and at the time I said I was just fortunate to be here. Uh, often I'll say, uh, scholars make me look good. I mean, I, I, we, you guys are why we do this. Uh, we're fortunate every day to teach you, and we, we, we do mean that. Um, and there's more talent in this room. Um, there's all of these educators, not very many males up here on the stage with me, gentlemen, and we need young men to enter into education, specifically ag education, but any time of a type of education. Um, I'm truly blessed. Uh, thank you to Ms. Cozart and the, and the foundation and Lieutenant Governor Coleman. Uh, this is a special place to be and we're fortunate to be in a district that supports programs and special academics like agriculture and CTE. Um, I've just been in the right place at the right time and I'm truly shocked and blessed and uh, I really can't thank you enough for this support and this award. So thank you so much.